on the surface of stars like our sun, a complex network of magnetic fields emerges from beneath the surface. The interaction of oppositely directed magnetic fields drive solar flares and coronal mass ejection that can impact the space environment near Earth. Sunspots are spots that have strong magnetic fields and cooler plasmas, which appear as darker spots on the surface of the sun, the photosphere. Sunspots often appear in pairs. The black and white regions in the magnetogram indicate magnetic field lines piercing into and out of the photosphere. In other words, the fields in these regions have the opposite polarity. These pairs also tend to develop both in the northern hemisphere and the southern hemisphere. An interesting question is why? This phenomenon can be understood through tracing the motion of individual magnetic field lines. Like the Earth, our sun also rotates and has dipole magnetic fields that change polarity every 11 years, known as the solar cycle. In this cartoon, we will focus on the dipole field within a solar cycle that has magnetic field lines, entering the sun in the north and leaving in the south. Blue lines illustrate magnetic field lines beneath the solar surface. Red lines show magnetic field lines above the surface. Let's focus on the motion of one field line beneath the solar surface. Below the surface of the sun, the plasmas circulate in the same direction of solar rotation. The plasma flow speed, however, peaks on the equatorial plane. This plasma shear flow will then carry and stretch the magnetic field line in this way. The stretched magnetic field along the flow direction enhances its strength, which makes it lighter compared to the surrounding plasma, causing it to rise up to the surface, like a deep sea bubble rising up to sea level. Meanwhile, the rotation of the sun induces the Coriolis force, causing the rising field lines to locally twist clockwise in the northern hemisphere and counterclockwise in the southern hemisphere. The same force twists hurricanes on Earth. This explains why the sunspots on the photosphere often show up in pairs with opposite magnetic polarity. This also explains why sunspots tend to emerge in both the northern and southern hemispheres. These magnetic field line motions suggest the tendency to generate local magnetic loops that have a polarity opposite to the global dipole field. Many of them beneath the surface may merge and conspire to flip the sun's global dipole magnetic fields, explaining the 11-year solar cycle, as recorded by the butterfly diagram. After all, this is just a leading theory. Scientists are still actively trying to unravel the details beneath the solar surface. It is interesting to point out that the twisting sense of the sunspot magnetic field lines is opposite to that of a hurricane on Earth. The reason is complex, partially because the directions of the radial flow from the center of these twists are opposite in these two phenomena. Also, the fully three-dimensional physics of emerging field lines are on display.